And this one for me is uh, the main key. So outside there must be more hard workers or more talent. The secret for everyone is to find a new solution. The outside editor now are a little bit uh, the smallest than the other. The deepest now is ready to fight on every ball. You need to be able to switch that time. Lucarelli, De Falco, Rechine, Ishikawa, Takahashi are having a uh, in the set time at least. A little bit higher, a little bit longer, a little bit short. So it's uh, a long list for the outside editor. In Poland, Semenyuk is not 2 meters and 10, he is 1 meter and 96. They need to be inside the game. So in the past, a lot of time, Giulio Velasco said to his uh, players, I'm here with uh, Roberto Piazza at Volley Coach Show podcast, and uh, we should speak about the complexity of the outsider, because outsider is one of the most important players in uh, modern volleyball in the team, and uh, Outsider is making a lot of points, he's touching a lot of uh, balls. So uh, my question is, uh, what do you uh, think uh, that uh, means the complexity of the outsider? What is the most important for you? Okay, good evening to everyone. The, my first point is, uh, is something that is not new for volleyball. I remember uh, in the past uh, when I spoke with uh, Doug Bill, so the, the main coach of the USA team, and uh, he said that uh, 50% of the the score, the total score is from position four. It means that outside Lita must attack really a lot of balls and they need to score point. Uh, and uh, the second option are other ones, but uh, 50% of the game, you can win the game with outside it. Uh, I remember also some amazing setters one uh, in the top in the list was Peter Blanger, and another one was from USA, Jeff Stork. They were thinking about outside detail, and they said that if I have both outside detail on the game, there's absolutely no problem. If I have just one, I need also the opposite. So it means that outside detail is really important. Uh, which in, in, in which side is important? It's important, of course, like a receiver, so the first thing is a reception, but not for both outside either. So if you have a good passer, so the good reception, it means that you can score point directly. You need to score a point with a reception double plus, with a reception plus, with a reception exclamative, and also with a reception minus. But the, 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 the easily way is to put the ball as close as possible in the net, so reception double plus. So if you have a good reception, you can score point easily. If you have bad reception, it's more difficult to score point. You need to find some solution, and that solution are not so easy sometimes because the block is uh, is big and tall uh, and strong. The defense now is ready to fight on every ball. So if you are playing just high ball, you have to be smart, you have to play for recycling the ball also. So is something special. Position four, one more time. First of all, reception. If you have a good liberal, like a passer, you can have just one perfect passer and the other one can arrive in the medium level. If you have just uh, the liberal in a good way, both of the elite are medium, you can find some problem on reception, and that one can be a dangerous way. And this one for me is uh, the main key. Reception, and later attack. If you want to have a, a, a good attack, you need to have a good reception. It's not the only thing, absolutely, it's not the only thing, but that one is for me the, the crucial point. Second situation, out for outside eater, you need to be able to solve the problem when the ball is not perfect. So in the past, a lot of time, Giulio Velasco said to his uh, players, uh, I don't want a player that they are able to score points just with the perfect ball. I want a player that they can be able to solve problem with a difficult ball. And... Uh, uh, a lot of time you can see now that the, the outside that they are checking the set and please, a little bit higher, a little bit longer, a little bit short. Uh, the ball is two of the net. Come on. 
every time after the set and when they are not able to score points. If they are able to score points, And this one is a philosophy, not my philosophy, from the past. Giulio Velasco said this situation. And Velasco is one of the most important coaches that you can find now, now also in, in the women's side. So solve the problem with a difficult ball. One important thing for outside eater, you need to be able to find all spot is possible in the court. It means... Uh, Ball in the line, sharp, sharp diagonal, sharp diagonal, long diagonal, medium line, uh, middle of the core. You need to be able to play tip, pushing tip, roll shot. So it's a long list for the outside eater. And also outside eater has to be able to change the time in the, in the game, change the time of his attack. Because when the block is able to find your time, you need to be you need to be able to switch that time with uh, I wait a little bit on the fly, I I anticipated the attack, I try to cut my direction. But these one are some skills that uh, the outside eater need to be able to use. So I don't know which one is the best option. For the outside eater, for example, a lot of outside eater are able to attack a sharp diagonal, but when the ball is really fast, line is really deep. Because uh, the first mistake is to hit the ball in the attack. So you need to be able to avoid that mistake. So sharp, sharp diagonal is okay. Long diagonal is okay too. Remember that on long diagonal, 90% of the time, you can find the arms of middle blocker. And usually middle blocker is the back block, the best blocker on the team, on the opponent team. So, uh, which one is the worst in block? What is the, the best in block? You have, if you have the tallest guys in position two, you need to be able to play against the arm, but play for a cyclic. If you have a smallest guy in position two, you need to be able to cross the block higher and to put the ball in the last part of the court, in the first uh, line or in the second line. So first line, it means a really line or middle line, like I, I like to talk with the players. Middle line, it means uh, inside the court, one meter, one meter and that. So the situation of the editor is complex, really, like you said, no? It's not okay. I can put a cross in the sharp diagonal, put the ball there, and you are able to score point. No, because that there will be also the leader, the best defender in the team normally. So outside leader must be first. Of course, for reception, good platform, able to understand the direction of the server, anticipate every time the situation of the opponent team on sir and then on the court be smart to understand he must be smart for understand what the block want to do which one is the best option in attack or high ball which one is the best option on on the first ball if in the other side there is a spot where they can put the ball sure that defense is not there Example, with the tallest guys normally tip back the block is not a good option because the, the, the tip needs to be really high. But when there is the smallest in block, a lot of time in position two in block, if he's born, position one, like to stay a little bit longer because uh, normally they want to cross over the block. So sometimes it can be a good idea to play a tip back the block, exactly back the block. In that situation, normally, the smallest in block, normally, I am the smallest in block like setter, no? So setter in front, tip back the block, opposite is on the floor. So one more time, transition is for position four. So I need to be able to understand the situation, to be smart for take the approach as fast as possible, 
and to be able to find the connection, a good connection with, with the set. Okay, I see that uh, you said a lot of things which are very important for uh, outsiders. And I see in uh, modern volleyball in the last uh, couple of years, and also you are uh, having like uh, not the tallest outsider in the Dutch national team. You don't have the tallest uh, outsider in your team in Milano. And uh, also the many national teams like Lucarelli, De Falco, Rechine, Ishikawa, Takahashi are having uh, players in the starting six, but they are not over two meters. And uh, I see that uh, maybe these uh, like powerful outsiders are a little bit disappearing from the highest level that, of course, that you have Leon, you have uh, uh, Chebul and other who are really strong. But I see that uh, maybe the reception and smartness in the attack is... Uh, more important for some clubs uh, now and in the future. What is your opinion about this? I think that uh, is uh, a situation now on this generation, what you said. Um, I want to remember to you that uh, Anderson started like outside it. Now he's opposite, no? Uh, but in the rat, he's playing as outside it because the opposite is Tarma from Netherlands. Uh, and Anderson is not so small, huh? he's absolutely a good jumper, uh, he's tall enough. So, Kliuka, Russian, is a tallest guy. Uh, of course, Russia now is out from the, the volleyball, not for the, for the, the political situation. Okay, it's not that political, it's something really that I cannot understand, but this one is another, uh, another point of view. I think that this generation is like this. And I can give you a lot of examples, no? on uh, in Poland, Semenyuk is not 2 meters and 10, he is uh, 1 meter and 96. Mm -hmm. Slivka, same. The only one that is, is close to meter is Bartosz Bednosz on position 4. Fornal is not more than 2 meters, absolutely. Kolek is not to meet. So a lot of players are not to meet now on that position. I think also that this one is uh, something that happened because uh, if you have a tall guy immediately, you are thinking, ah, this one is a block. The, the ability is important for outside data. They need to be in the, in the rally every time. They need to be able to leave the game every time. They need to be inside the game every time. They need to be start, smart and, and fast. They need to read the situation like with a blocker. On the same moment, they need to be able to take the approach to attack the position on position four. In my opinion, one more time, is this generation. Because in the past, Cantagalli was over to meet her. Bernardi was tall. Marco Bracci was tall. Only in Italy. Papi? Absolutely not. One of the best outside Italy in the world. USA on that moment, Carschirali. The king. Absolutely. Not so tall. Bob Severtlik. Not so tall. But not far from tall. So I think that uh, the generation now is working for uh, having a good uh, a coordination so they need to be able to use the body in the perfect way they need to feel the body and this this one in my opinion is one of the key because outside it are now are a little bit uh, smaller than the other i was also with uh with uh steven mar steven mar is to meet her. thomas jesky to meet her. And would jump. More is difficult. It's true. And uh, uh, do you think that uh, all these uh, top uh, star volleyball outsiders are uh, mostly uh, great because they have a uh, great talent or good talent that they were, you know, like Engapet at 17 years, you know, playing fantastic all the skills, or they are like uh, hard workers, more hard workers or more talent? Both. Some sometimes you can find in the same spot both situation. I can tell you something about Yishikawa is with me from four years. 
and uh, he has an amazing talent, but also he is uh, really an amazing work. Some player that were with me, another one, even in Gapet, an amazing talent. Particular one, really particular one. Um, Trevor Cleveno, an amazing talent, an amazing worker, a good guy, so a smart guy. Also, you can find some players that they are a little bit, we can say, lazy, no? Difficult to play volleyball every day. Imagine that the player, that the, the people that they are going in the minors, no? In Poland, difficult not to play volleyball underground. No, no, it's not difficult to play volleyball. The only thing is the choice that you can you can use, and also the choice to be able to choose your your uh, your sport, no? And outside Italy, sometimes. Uh, One more time, uh, someone like to play 100%, to play and to be professional, but to play the game, really. Someone is afraid to play a normal game, so they are thinking a lot, and they might need to be free, especially for outside it. Chris, and uh, do you think that uh, uh, in the future we will see some uh, special quality, some special stuff from outsiders like Engapet uh, started with his uh, you know attack uh, that uh, now uh, Polish players uh, technical players like Slivka for now are, are playing you know let off with the ball so you know playing with the with the bold hands with the block uh, do you think that there can be something like uh, new or you already see it in the in the competition in uh, Serie A1 in Italy that there is coming something that, uh, I, you know, only few players are doing this and it will come, it will become like a standard in the future? Sure. Now pushing tip is normal situation, no? Uh, I can tell you one secret, and it's not a secret. I remember a long time ago, almost 10 years ago, uh, Angelo Lorenzetti decided to to play the Alecchi pipe when the opponent team were uh, putting the ball on the setter, no? And was the first team, Modena, in that moment, Angelo was in Modena. Modena was the first team able to play pipe immediately after one defense. Mm -hmm. And now you can find a lot of teams that they are able to follow that work. So the secret is not just for, uh, for coaches, but the secret for everyone is to find a new solution. And new solution now is uh, to be you have to be able to to play the ball and to have the ball on your side every time so the ball is not perfect okay you have to do 100 percent as possible for try to save the ball on your court for play the second ball high ball maybe and the third one maybe first ball that's why another one with the Leyden was uh asking to the player a long time ago directly when he was uh in the germany team in men, not in the women. And he was asking to the player, guys, put the ball as close as possible in the net because we need to counter. We need to do a contrast with the with the block, and we need to something for try to find a, a spot where we will be able to score. So new new solution. Even in Gapet, teach it to everyone how it's possible to play volleyball, not just in the regular side. Because we are playing with uh, with uh, the short, the perfect street, no. Mm -hmm. Now also without sweet, without nothing, no. Just uh, with uh, with the arms. So uh, the, I would like to speak with you, uh, Roberto, longer. But uh, I want my goal is to make this Volikuchu podcast uh, shorter, not uh, over twenty minutes. So I would like to thank you for all your thoughts uh, and advice for the players, and I feel and I see that uh, many players will take uh, something from your advice to their head and they will become uh, better outsiders and uh, better players. So thank you very much for your time and uh, I hope for good luck in the season. I wish them all the best situation. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.